What can we do in the wake of tragedy? Something that we're not personally attached to or involved with, like a loved one or somebody, a roommate, a friend, or somebody from college that passes away, but more of a celebrity, an icon, an influential personality that affected us in some way, that, that inspired us and motivated us to be more than what we are and what we could be. But we too are suffering through that loss, such as Kobe Bryant right now. And we are navigating this and we're grieving and we're sad and we're hurt and we're, we're depressed in a sense. And we're wondering what we can do. There is something you can do because right now, Southern California, California, and a lot of the nation is, and the world is, is grieving the loss of, of such an iconic person. And we think that, well, we just have to navigate this, but there is something we can do to bring in, to usher in some beauty into it, to make the best of this, is that you hear it everywhere, you see it written and coded and everything is hold the ones you love tighter. Tell them you love them. Kiss them a little bit longer and make sure they know that they are important to you. And we hear those messages, but we just kind of go, yeah, that's a great idea. And then we go right back to living our lives. We go right back to our routine. We don't take that opportunity to reach out to our loved ones, to tell them, and something's gonna happen. You're gonna read that quote. You're gonna see those messages about reaching about, about holding them tighter and hugging them and being grateful. And you're gonna get a flash. Somebody is gonna come to your mind. You're gonna picture them. It may be an old roommate from college or somebody from grade school, somebody you had a falling out with, okay? And, and your mind is gonna flash that person. You're gonna see them and you'll be like, yeah, yeah, no, but you know, we had the falling out and I, I just shouldn't. That is the universe, God, the powers that be, Mother Earth, whatever you believe in, it's, it's, that is ushering in guidance for you to, to teach you, to help you, to just don't consider the BS and to reach out to them, make amends and just tell them, hey, a lot has changed over the years and I just wanna let you know I'm grateful for you. So reach out to that person and, and make that connection. And if you, nobody like that comes to mind and you're, you get that image of somebody, of who you love, your parents, your uncles, your aunts, your, your cousins, your friends, your roommates, your ex-roommates, your ex-girlfriends or boyfriends, and of course your po partners, your spouses, everybody that comes into your mind, you're gonna visualize them. It's gonna be a quick little instant flash. Those are the ones you need to tell that you love them and make it genuine, make it important, make it monumental and moving and say, listen, with all this craziness that's going on in the world right now, with us losing Kobe in a tragic accident and, and the coronavirus and World War III, you know, brimming, all this madness that's going on in the beginning of 2020, I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm super grateful to have you in my life. I, I'm, I'm humbled that I have a relationship with you and it's important to me and I honor it. And I may not tell you that all the time, but I just want to let you know that you're very important to me and you, you benefit my life. You, you increase the quality of it and I don't tell you enough. And I just want to let you know that, that I love you. And I'm super grateful to have somebody like you and to have the relationship that I have with you. So thank you and that's it. And you text that and you email that and you send a quick little voicemail. They don't pick up their phone because nobody picks up their phone anymore. But you tell them that and in person, hey, can we grab coffee? Can we catch up? I just want to spend some time with you in a quick little message. Hey, thinking about you just popped into my head, in my mind. Just want to let you know I miss you. I love you. I hope all is well. So in and through navigating tragedy, we can make the difference. We can tip the scales to usher in more beauty, more love, more kindness, more affection, more compassion, more empathy, and just more gratitude into the world because we're all grieving in, in our own way. However, our relationship is with Kobe and, and other people that have, have 
past throughout the time, but we can make the difference. We can be the difference. You just have to commit, have that courage, have that bravery to follow that instinct, that flash that's happening in your mind and pursue it and go through with it and follow through and you'll see the benefits, okay? You're just gonna feel better. However that other person reacts, we don't care. We're not tethered to that. We're doing it because it's gonna make us feel good and we're sharing love. So you have power. Take that opportunity and make the difference. Be that difference and usher forth, spread that love, that gratitude, that that compassion and that gratefulness that you have for those you love. Take the time to do it and be the love that you have for them. And I speak from personal experience. My greatest achievement in life is plastered along the wall behind me especially her. She passed away in 2014. My wife, Jessica Marie, battling cancer, was the most traumatic, suffering, anguish-fueled experience of my life navigating her loss after. But there was hope, there was light, and I had to pour my love into others, into myself, and I had to tip the scales and put out compassion, love, empathy, forgiveness, everything I could into myself and share that with others. And I began to tip the scales and there was a tremendous shift in the way I perceived my life and things became beautiful again and now they're even more beautiful. So take that time to share your gratitude, your love, with those that are in your life that are making it beneficial, that are improving it, that make you smile and laugh and love and make life beautiful. Take the time, be courageous, be brave, and let them know, I love you, I'm grateful for you, and I just wanna let you know that. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and took away something to help benefit your life in some small way. I'll be pumping out a whole bunch of new stuff, so I want to thank you for joining me along that adventure. Please hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. And I want to thank you again for all of your support and wish you a blessed day.